हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मनीष यादव एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ पोएम फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ दिस पोएम हैज बीन टेकन आउट फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ बिहीव इट्स टाइटल इज नो मेन आर फॉरन This is a poem which conveys and delivers the message to be brother and polite for all the human being because we have never thought of those people as strangers or other countries as foreign because we are told to do that as far as i know we do not hate each other we do not fight with each other we are told to fight we are told to kill those people who belong from other countries we are told to take them as our enemies by the politicians and uh, some other factors but according to the poem no men are foreign there is nobody who is foreigner are enemies of ours the poet wants to give a message this is the title of this poem no men are foreign as you could see the title on the screen no men are foreign not a single person belonging from any country is our enemy we must think them as our brothers as people are human being let you go through the poem line by line word by word and students are requested to be attentive and focused to get it properly let you start from the very beginning of this poem have you ever thought of some people as strangers or other countries as foreign this is the question that has been put up at the beginning of the poem have you ever thought of some people as strangers this is the question for all the human being and readers who reads out this poem do you think some of the people as strangers unknown the word strange means unknown okay unknown as the word has been written on the screen it means unknown the person whom you don't know are other countries as foreign this word foreign means the person who belongs from other country is known as foreigner for us we are indian and uh, if somebody belongs to america england canada or other countries they are foreigner for us and we are foreigner for them next line we have many ways of thinking other people as different from us we have many ways of thinking of other people as different from us as them we have a lot of ways of thinking we may think of other people about other people as different from us as them 
they may belong to a different country or speak a different language it may be different that they speak other languages they look different they belong from different country they speak a different language we know hindi is our native language and uh, we speak different different languages in our country some of the people speak in bhojpuri some of the people speak hindi some of them speak uh, malayalam some of them kannad some of them gujarati some of them english so different different languages are spoken abroadly in our country so the poet wants to say that people's language may be different they look differently but they are the same they are human being the poet wants to convey a great message through this poem in this poem however the poet reminds us the many ways in which we are all the same for we all human being the poet wants to say that there are so many ways in which we are all the same because we all are human being this line we all are human being we have most of the features that is same like breathing every people who share the earth or this planet breathe we laugh we cry we run and so many ways if we pay attention on the features of human being and some equalities we all are human being and we are the same so why to hate others why to take the people as our enemies the poet wants to give a great message through this poem dear students let you go through the poem and its stanzas one by one remember no men are strangers no countries foreign the poet enforces delivering a message through this poem remember you must remember that no men are strangers nobody is unknown to us if we want to be introduced no men are strangers we may introduce ourselves to anybody and we can get introduction with anybody so no men are strangers nobody is unknown to us no country is foreign and nobody sorry not a single country is foreign we must know about every countries and their people maybe they would be different in their physical appearance as well as color languages uniforms but they all are the same because they all are human being beneath all uniform a single body breathes the poet says that beneath all the uniform a single body breathes under all the uniforms means human being all human we are uniforms and there is a single body who breathes 
who take breathings like ours as we breathe every human being breathes the land our brothers walk upon is earth like this in which we all shall lie and the land the poet talks about the planet and that is earth that we all human being and 1.4 million of other species share together we all live on this earth so we all are the same and they are our brothers as this line they are our brothers walk upon his earth they also share this planet they also stay on the same planet on the earth where we stay so why are the enemies of ours we should never take them as our enemies i think all the students would understand properly let you go through the next stanza second stanza of this poem that is they too aware of sun air and water are fed by peaceful harvests by wars long winter starvation their hands are ours and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own they too are aware of sun there is a single sun which shines abroadly across the world and air and water they also drink water like us they also take air for breathing like we do they are also fed by peaceful harvests they also eat grains as we are fed by peaceful harvests wheat rice and uh, other grains that we eat by wars long winter starvation and they are also starved by wars long winter when war takes place they also be younger and they also suffer from starvation dear children through this stanza the poet wants to deliver a great message to us of humanity how should we react other people we should never listen the commands and instructions of leaders in our country because they may emotionally give us bad and wrong instructions for their own benefits so according to the poet all the human being they are aware of air and water they are also fed by peaceful harvests means they also eat grains by wars long winter starvation and they also suffer from starvation if war takes place in their country their hands are ours next line that is third their hands are also like us and their lines we read and we could read and see the same line as our hands has okay you could see lines on our palm so it is the same on their palm and hand also a labor not different from our own and they also do hard work like us as we do labor we struggle they also struggle and they are also the same in such manners and they are also fed by peaceful harvests 
the poet says in this second stanza giving some natural resources that is useful and is consumed by every human being across the world third paragraph a sorry stanza of the poem remember they have eyes like ours that weak the poet similarizes and uh, he wants to say that we are similar with these features of human being remember mind that they have also eyes like ours we have eyes okay we have eyes every people have two eyes that wake or sleep and they also wake and sleep like us and strength that can be won by love and that strength that anger everything could be won by love means affection between two people is a great weapon to change and own means win this is the third form of win win to get victory so on is the third form of i mean past participle of win so everything could be won by love by affection in every land is common life that all can recognize and understand every land everywhere in the world on this planet life is same and could be recognized and understood according to the poet nobody is foreign or oh, sorry foreigner nobody is our enemy we are brothers of each other and we must think about others as we think about us let us remember let you know fourth stanza of this poem let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we shall dispose betray condemn remember who took arms against each other through this stanza the poet wants to give a description of leaders politicians because we are told to hate each other by politicians and some of the people in the society so let us remember whenever we are told whenever we are said to hate our brothers if we hate someone they are also our brother it is ourselves this is human this is a cost of human that we betray disposes kill hurt and we must remember who took arms against each other nobody fights with the himself suppose that human kills human so it is a, a great problem and misunderstanding that we take arms against each other we fight with each other they are also our brothers they are like our brothers so we out not to fight with each other if we are told by someone to do like that he wants to give a description about the politicians by using a uh, just sarcasm in this poem that we are told to hate each other our brothers they are also as uh, our brothers so we should not betray and condemn we should never kill them we should never hate them we should never take arms to fight with each other let you know the last stanza of this poem 
that is it is the human earth that we defile if we are hurting this planet this is ours our hails of fire and dust outrages the innocence of air that is everywhere our own in this stanza that is last stanza of this poem the poet wants to give and deliver a message to be aware of our planet we should never disbalance the balance as well as its metabolic processes because if we are disturbing and destroying this planet that we share with 1.4 other millions of species our hails of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air if we are blowing dusts if we are blowing fire that will outrage and will be sprayed and destroy the innocence of air means good elements of air will be destroyed if we blow dusts and pollute the atmosphere that is everywhere our own the poet says that this air is ours because we are the consumer of it we breathe we inhale oxygen from the air and if we are polluting the air and the balance as well as we are destroying the metabolic processes of the planet that we share is always risky and dangerous for us we are hurting ourselves remember no men are foreign and no country is strange a tremendous and great moral comes out from this stanza we should always remember that no men are foreign nobody is foreign and strange for us we all are human being and we must be human by feature and character no countries not a single countries i mean single country is strange and unknown to us okay that's it about this poem i hope i have described well about all the stanzas of this poem and the students have understood it well i think that's it keep learning